The National Patient Summary is part of the Swedish national IT strategy for the healthcare and welfare sector, focusing on common solutions to improve patient security, accessibility, and the quality of the healthcare services. The National Patient Summary provides the right information in the right place at the right time to the right user. With the consent of the patient, authorized healthcare and welfare professionals can obtain important patient information from the county councils, municipalities, and private care providers' patient record systems. There are numerous advantages to this. We'll have a look at some of them. But first, let's meet Orke. Orke Andersson lives in his own home in the barrier district of Linköping. He is a sprightly 76, but gets a little confused, so he has home help and home nursing now and again. He has been receiving treatment for his hypertension, high blood pressure, at the health centre in Baria for a long time. At Christmas, Oke travels to Orebru to spend the holidays with his daughter and grandchildren. On Boxing Day evening, he starts to get pains in his stomach. He feels nauseous and doesn't feel like eating any more meatballs. The next evening he has bouts of vomiting. His stomach pains get worse and are now occurring at intervals. His daughter drives him to the emergency department at Orebru University Hospital, where he is seen by a doctor. Because Oka has not been to this hospital before, a new electronic medical record is open for him in the local patient record system. The doctor who examines him enters the symptoms he describes. A computer tomography is then performed on his abdomen. The results of x-rays and other examinations are also entered in his medical record. Orca's doctor diagnoses Ilias and explains that an operation is needed on his intestine before any severe damage is caused. Orca tells her that he has home nursing in Baria but has difficulty in explaining exactly what it includes. His daughter, who by now is quite worried, can't remember the names of her father's medicines and only has a fuzzy idea of what they look like. The doctor therefore wants to access the National Patient Summary to see what information has been registered about Orca in primary care and his home municipality. She logs in using her EID, her SITS card, which is checked against the healthcare address register where care staff's professional roles and areas of responsibility are registered. When the doctor logs in, an access check is made to confirm that Orca has consented to the information in the case record being shown. The access check also verifies that the doctor is currently treating Orca. Because the doctor in this case is authorized and needs to see Orca's details, she is granted access to information via the National Patient Summary. The first thing the doctor sees is a clear attention signal that Orca is hypersensitive to a certain type of antibiotics. The active substance in the pharmaceutical can cause life-threatening reactions. The doctor notes this in Orca's record. And when he is lying on the operating table an hour later, all the staff concerned have been given the correct information about his hypersensitivity and can ensure that he gets the right kind of medication. Orca is given a temporary colostomy to allow his intestine to rest. While he is recovering from his operation, representatives from the county council and his home municipality plan what care he will need when he leaves hospital. Orca has chosen not to block any information about his case. This means that the people responsible for his home nursing in Baria can use their EIDs and with Orke's consent, access the National Patient Summary to get up-to-date information about events and study the care plan. This makes it easier to prepare for Orke's return home and see what new resources are needed without having to wait for medical summaries and other important documents to be sent from Orebru. A few days later, Orke is allowed to return home to Baria. At first, he doesn't feel well at all. His operation wound hurts, he eats badly, 
and his stomach is continuing to cause him trouble. More than anything else, he is very tired. He can't manage to speak very much and can't really remember what's happened to him. Because he has bandages and a colostomy bag, he gets extra help with his personal hygiene and getting dressed and undressed. He is allowed to borrow a walking frame that he can use until he can move around on his own again. The home nursing services periodically redress his operation wound, help him with his colostomy bag and check his liquid intake and his temperature. When Oka finally has some energy again, he is anxious and uneasy and asks about his operation and the doctor he saw in Orobru again and again. Because the staff know all the details via the National Patient Summary, it is easier for them to give Orca answers that can put his mind at rest. Ten days later, it is time to pay a visit to the doctor at the health centre in Baria for checks and follow-ups. Orca explains that he still has stomach pains and feels sore, but he can't give any details at all about what he has gone through. The doctor finds that the area around the colostomy opening is infected, but since the patient seems disorientated and confused, he wants to see what other caregivers have said. He uses his SITS card and accesses the National Patient Summary. He studies the medical summary from Orebru to get a better picture of Orke's hospital visit and operation. He can also see what the home nursing services have written about Orke's condition. He reads that Orke is taking several different kinds of medication, including sedatives for the night and medicine for his high blood pressure. There is also a warning about his hypersensitivity to some antibiotics. Thanks to this information, the doctor is able to prescribe infection-inhibiting drugs that do not interact with his other medicines and cause Orke further complications. Some time later, Orke visits the University Hospital in Linköping for a new operation to put back his intestine and close the colostomy opening. His home municipality arranges for rehabilitation and help to take his medications in the right doses at the right times. Orke slowly gets better, and eventually he is able to walk without the frame. The next time he visits the health centre or ends up in hospital, perhaps in the emergency ward, his caregivers can access his medical records the results of examinations and tests, and information about what medications have been prescribed. The fact that the staff concerned in the municipality and at the health centre and the hospital can see each other's information across organisational borders means that Orca can get faster, safer and better care.